guys, welcome to Back to Our Roots Homestead. Hope everyone's week is off to a great start. Today, we are going to be harvesting some good old collards. Check in on the Bab Garden, and we got a special delivery to the homestead. So come on back. Used to the city, now we got our own land. Life's getting real busy, busy. None of it was ever planned. Got the crib looking pretty, pretty. With a garden full of plants, plants. And we built our own committee yeah. From the bottom we advance yeah. Back to our roots. roots Now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots Put on. It's time to go take off your suit so. Back to our roots yeah. Yeah. Now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots It's time to farm with Cheryl Swoops Right now Right now Yeah Yeah Right now Right now Alright y'all that's my, my country twang, y'all hear that? We are going to check in on the Bab Garden. As you can see, we have planted some broccoli romanesco, which seems to be doing really well. Yeah, all these were on the grow table a few days ago. We got them out well. They've been out here now about a, about a week, a little over a week. Um, the broccoli romanesco, we have a whole row of those. Um, these have been out a little longer. We planted these okay. right after. That's um, the first row right here that's closest to us. This is uh, uh, broccoli. And the back row back there, that is uh, Brussels sprouts. But everything's coming up um, pretty good. Um, a lot of people have asked us why I plant these this time of year. And to me, I don't, the vegetable like the broccoli head or the Brussels sprouts is just really a, a bonus to me I really just want the leaves so if we can get a few harvests off of these before it gets too hot then I'm I'm fine with that and if we get actually get a broccoli Romanesco or broccoli head or Brussels sprouts don't get me wrong I want them but my main purpose is the leaves and as you can see here we tried uh, t -Nog's, uh system we put in onion and uh, garlic and they're growing up around the uh, Brussels sprouts so those are doing pretty good so hopefully we'll get some leaves and those will be out we have one row left right here and I think I want to do I have some red Brussels sprouts and we have some uh, uh, purple cauliflower so that's what we'll put in this last row and the back garden is full over here so far all we have in the lab is uh, artichoke and over here, we were able to get our cucumbers in. So we got cucumbers in, in both buckets. Uh, those are 20 gallons, they're a little bigger than the other ones, but I'm only putting two plants in there, so that's four plants that should give us plenty. And we're getting leaves on the peach tree, guys. All right, you guys, also, we have some strawberries. Look how nice and pretty those are. Just so red. We got a couple of them in there. We have some smaller ones that are growing. You can see them all here. But Get those, babe. There's a couple of red ones here. Get those red ones. I don't, I don't have my thing to get them with. You just want me to pull them? Mm. Come right off. Those are nice, ones. nice and pretty. You're doing a smoothie <laughs> or a salad. Yeah, All right, guys. We do have some good lettuce. We got some, yeah, lettuce is great over there. I'll show them. All right, guys. We also have our patty pan squash in. Uh, these are the ones we're going to start growing the patty pan. We love the taste of them. So we're going to roll with these. We got four in. We have a couple more on the table. Um, but these are in and off and running. We also have five things of cabbage that we had. We had this cabbage for a long time. Uh, we finally just put them in the table. They're, uh, I guess it's purple and just regular cabbage. We've had them on the grow table for a while. And so those are good. And that stuff right there. <laughs> man, I, I can't believe that you still have it out here. <laughs> I, I can't believe it's still living, man. They've been through hurricanes. And we haven't done anything to it. Because we don't like it. I haven't watered it, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hurricane, <laughs> snowstorm, it's still kicking. Oh, 
Man, I don't know what that is, but I might need to start eating it. Right? <laughs> if it survived all of that. Dark blood. <laughs> oh my God. And here's the grow table again. Everything is doing good. These are our choice. They're really doing good. Mm -hmm. Time to get them out and our kale. All right, guys. All right, you guys, and here is, I say, what a uh, Mr. Man is known for, his collards. <laughs> I love some uh, collards. Here brassicas. Are the, here are the brassicas. <laughs> They're really nice and pretty. They look really good. So we will be harvesting these. Yeah. And getting them in a pot. So once again, I'm trying to get as much as I can in, in freezer. Yeah, there's so some So we'll have ones. them during the months, but no bugs. We also did the same thing in here with the onion and um, uh, garlic. So they're a little, they're in the five gallons, so they're not as big. I don't know if they're coming up yet, but I'll look in there. We'll get these harvested. So far, so good, no bugs. So, yeah, no bugs, clean leaves. So we'll get these harvested and we'll be back. All right, guys. As you can see, I have harvested my greens. Um, I'll take these out to the shed and prepare them to um, be clean and put in the freezer. And I'll show you the harvest in a few. All right, guys. All right, guys, it is 80 degrees here in the H-Town. Feels warmer than that. I know, feels a lot warmer, but 80. All right, guys, y'all gonna have to excuse my little onion and garlic uh, area over here. I'm gonna have to get in here uh, today or tomorrow and weed eat it down. But we wanted to show y'all the onions. They're doing great. So I'll be ringing these back soon. So, but we just wanted to give y'all an update on them. They're doing really good. And so is the garlic. The dark garlic is doing really good also. I gotta get it here and um Stop. and um pull these weeds out, but it's doing pretty good. Alright guys, we in the herb garden. Um those are some more collards. I just put them over here. Um good old parsley. parsley. The mint came back with a Ooh, vengeance. Mm, and it smells so delish. Yep. I wish I could smell that through the camera. <laughs> That's some lettuce. Can't wait. We'll be eating that soon for. I'm excited about that. <laughs> for everything. Salad. More parsley. And more parsley. And more parsley. It came back too. More lettuce. It's doing really good. Um. Spinach. That's a little thing of spinach. It didn't do it too good. We bought it. We didn't start it. I didn't. My wife got it. So I don't know. Just to try it. Yeah. And that is some more lettuce. And, and more, more lettuce. lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce, and more lettuce. Yeah. And this is the Vicks plant. So. I don't know what Vicks, to do. Vicks, like it's the Vicks plant. You guys, y'all know the old school remedies. And I oh, say new dead. school, <laughs> it is. But this is actually the Vicks plant that you use for. I guess, I guess they use it to make Vicks. Yeah, like I'll just, well it doesn't say on here, but it is because I read it. So I wanted to try it. I actually wanted to try it. But it says, let me see somewhere on here. I read it. No, it was on the sign. On the, but this right. is actually, it's not on here. Oh. This is actually the plant that they use. So it says, tender perennial with gray green leaves on trailing stem, strong menthol scent when leaves are brushed. And my dogs are fighting each other. <laughs> but that is the, that's the actual um, Vicks that they use to make Vicks. Yep. So anybody, I wanted to try it. Anybody knows anything about this or grown it before? Give us any advice on them. Let us know. And the sage is still going. Get it watered in, yeah, but it's been hanging on. Special delivery, guys. The 
chicken coop is here. So as you all saw coming in is our shed and this is the shed that will be our chicken coop. Yeah, this will be the coop. Um, this wall right here, I'll put nesting boxes in. Me and Earl will have to come out here and build this and design it. We were going to build this ourselves, but we got a good deal on this one. So now we can use the uh, other material that we have to build the meat chickens uh, uh, coop. But this is the inside of it. It's perfect size for our layer chickens, which is that's what we're going to put in here, just layers. So we'll get in here, we'll put some roost in here in the nest boxes, and we'll be done with it. And we're going to build a run. We have to build a run out here because we have way too many uh, uh, predators out here for uh, chickens to just run free. We have a lot of hawks. I call them crop dusters, assessment. But it's a lot of them out here. So, and we have fox and a bunch of different animals out here. So we're gonna build a run, and um, we'll have chickens. Our chickens will be here uh, pretty soon. Uh, the babies, will, of course, we'll put them in the brooder in the shed, and then once they get feathered out, we'll move them out here. So this is where they'll be. There's plenty of room out here for them to run around. I mean, to build a uh, past. I mean, a uh, run. So it should be fine. But those two think it's their toy. <laughs> it's somewhere for them to hide. <laughs> we better stay away from my chickens. <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll keep y'all updated, and we'll take y'all along as we uh, design the inside, the nesting boxes, the roost, and the run. And as you can see, this is a little shed we have on the property. Um, the chicken coop is right there. And this is all the wood to build the second one that we'll have a flock of meat chickens in. All right, guys, I'm out here in the shed. I just got finished bringing the harvest in and laying it out on the table. So we'll get this cleaned up and we'll get them into the freezer. Also got a little tea nog going on over here on the TV. And we can show you our grow lights. We have our watermelons right there. We have okra, three different varieties of okra. We got our Jamaican sorrel. 
and we have some more hot peppers coming up so these are doing good and hopefully they'll be out on the grow table soon all right guys all right you guys that's pretty much it for the day had a beautiful harvest with the collards um but before we close out i it kind of breaks my heart so i'm trying to talk through it without crying we actually lost our kitty cat socks um not really sure what it was the vet said it could be something for those of you out there who may have a cat and if you've heard of it or haven't heard of it they, she said it may be something called fip so if your cat's getting sick or i don't really know he just kind of went down really really quickly but um we lost him last week so pretty sad about that my heart's broken um, but we do have these other two running around that definitely make up for his loss um, but sad he was very much a part of our family and I know all of you guys know that but this one right here and that one over there um, they still keep us busy um, so rest in peace Soxy but uh, guys like always we truly appreciate all the love and support Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing the videos. And just thank you for caring enough to stop by and check us out. Like always, everybody, please stay safe, stay blessed, stay healthy. We'll see you next time on Back to Our Roots Homestead. See you on the other side, guys. Back to our roots, back to our roots. Back to our roots, back to our roots.